hey community so today we will see what is overview about like transit gateway and why people are using that so yeah we'll see uh let's see here so you consider a scenario where you will have like multiple vpcs right suppose like these are in your cloud itself like th this is in your aws itself so like vpc1 uh, vpc1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so suppose you have seven vpcs in your company or or, or in your aws account that you are using pro particularly for now and suppose in your company also in your project maybe you are using like two on premises servers as well so suppose this is one and this is two. So there are two on-premises servers and seven VPCs that you have. So yeah, so tomorrow like it, it will be a whole lot of hectic tasks to always like uh, work, work with this VPC, enable that VPC, uh, enable this particular on-premises to work with that, make a connection between it. And all these are like whole lot of hectic tasks, right? So for that, AWS has a solution which is called as AWS Transit Gateway. Okay, so I have not drawn here. I'll just quickly draw once. Just suppose this is a Transit Gateway. Okay, I'll just write here. AWS transit gw will write okay so suppose this is the transit gateway that aws provides okay so now what it is actually so it will uh, like you you will have like a lot of hectic tasks to enable these vpcs and uh, like work, work with it actually and also you have to along work with on premises servers as well so uh, it is a like back and forth like whole lot of tasks so aws transit gateway provide a possibility of interconnection between these vpcs so you will have a single channel single gateway to directly connect with it right so we'll draw here itself uh, so you directly connect these vpcs to one single channel single gateway right suppose you have connected all these and also it can also provide the feasibility to connect directly to the on-premises servers as well so now your task will get like your whole, whole like lot of connection things and all things will get sorted through the transit gateway and which is better because whenever you will be working in like uh, different things then it is uh, of course feasible to have a single gateway to work with right and also on premises will have a uh, on premises has to go through a vpn with that it will be able to access the gateway right so this is the simple solution of transit aws that provide in terms of transit gateway uh, yeah, so uh, this is basically uh, so uh, as an example again, we will just see Suppose you have like 20 servers in like VPC 1 and 30 servers in VPC 2 Right Okay, and this is on-prem There you will have like a uh, like main three servers are running Okay, so uh, like uh, without transit gateway you have to make a lot of efforts to first like make a connection between these two vpcs allow e each and everyone like route tables configure everything right and subnets and everything you have to configure and also you have to uh, deal with the on premises and whole lot of networking thing you have to do and uh, make up uh, like security purpose and all those things you have to uh, make in mind before doing anything like with the on-premises servers. So I think it, it will be like very hectic task as far as I understand. So for that, like it is like really easy with the transit gateway where you have to directly go through the transit gateway and it will enable the connections between the all these uh, internal VPCs or the on-prem servers or any other uh, data center you will have. The, you directly can just hit the gateways through a VPN maybe and it will be, it will allow you to access the other resources as well, right? So directly now with resources, with this gateway, you can easily access these with this 
gateway you can also access the on-prem access and everything right so th that is the main purpose like the same thing here so we will just quickly see how can we create it i have a portal open i'm just dragging the screen here okay so yeah i'm just going to directly you can search and directly go to vpc i'm going directly to the transit gateway where i created one before you don't have to do much things uh, like transit test and ops okay description you can provide like uh, test server test server gateway or something asn system number you don't have to provide uh, or if you have some any like proper number you can provide that uh, for now i'm not using this yeah so cidi you have to provide uh, i'm just taking this 8 or 16 i'm just taking a 16 any tag you have to provide i will have automatically transit test and off that i have provided as a gnome and we will just create it okay so it will take some time to up clear filters like this is in pending and this is in available state you will have the owner ids and everything so like by the time it is getting up we'll just check this yeah so this directly you will have all the things you will have the asn number here you will have the route tables and uh, uh, you will have vpc ecm support auto accept shared dns support will be enabled You'll have the owner ID anyways. This is the ARN and all these things will be here. Create flow log is something different. We'll check that later, how to enable the logging here. Okay. So yeah, I mean like that, that's how you can create it and use this uh, transit gateway wherever you want. Maybe in VPCs or maybe with the on-prem. So yeah, that's how you can use it. That is transit gateway. Uh, how to use it maybe properly between the multiple VPCs and along with the transit gateway we can see that later but that's how you can see that like how can we create it and why we are using the transit gateway so yeah thank you thank you so much